Jaipur, in all its splendor, the capital of Rajasthan hides history in every corner. But looming large around this bustling city, you will find its historic forts holding guard and telling its story. It all started here. The Amer Fort, originally a settlement of the local Mina chiefs, came under the control of the Kachwaha rulers in the 11th century and served as their capital. It was Raja Man Singh, the famous general in Mughal Emperor Akbar's army, who built the present fort in the late 16th century. His successors added and enlarged it. This was the seat of power for centuries and you can still find its old grandeur in the wide elephant paths or the great pillared halls. Amer was pretty much the power center till the 18th century when Maharaja Savai Jai Singh shifted his capital down the hill to Jaipur. Inside are the Diwane Aam, Diwane Khas, a splendid Shish Mahal and the palaces of Kachwaha rulers. A UNESCO World Heritage Site today, Amer is one of the most visited forts in India, drawing more than a million visitors every year. Rising above the Amer Fort is the Fort of Jaigar, built by Maharaja Savai Jai Singh in 1726 to protect Amer. It served as a military base and an artillery foundry. Today, it is home to the famous Jaiwan Cannon, one of the largest cannons in India. As centuries passed, these forts gave up their military role and became getaway retreats for the Maharaja and their court. Overlooking the Jaipur city is the Nahargat Fort, which had no military function but primarily served as a hunting lodge and a pleasure palace of the Jaipur Maharajas. The biggest attraction here is the exquisitely painted Madhavendra Bhavan, built by Maharaja Savai Madho Singh in 1880s. Beautifully restored to its former glory, it offers spectacular and panoramic views of the old Jaipur city with its perpendicular streets stretching afar. The Madhavendra Bhavan is also home to a very popular international sculpture gallery. So when you visit Jaipur city, don't miss its spectacular forts.